Last year, uh, I cycled about 850 kilometers over those mountains behind me, the Jura, all the way to London, carrying a letter signed by organizations representing about 45 million health workers from around the world, calling for stronger action on the climate change and air pollution crises. In London, I handed that letter over to a group of amazing paediatricians and other health workers from the UK's National Health Service. They cycled about another 850 kilometers to deliver that letter to the climate negotiations happening in Glasgow. Met some great people uh, who hopefully will take the message back to their hospitals, their departments, and generate more enthusiasm. And the kids have written all over the bag messages mm. to the politicians. Wherever you want, whatever you'd like to say. I think like I can say. respond to this one. Listen okay. to us, I think and so. I say we will. I think so. Okay. I think that sounds perfect. We must. We must. Nice. El objetivo de esto es lo uno, pues hacer ejercicio, integrarnos con nuestros compañeros y sin duda alguna pensar siempre en dejarles un mundo eh, mejor a nuestros hijos. I joined healthcare professionals at Ride for Our Lives, where they say unseasonable heat like this is part of a big problem. I felt kind of daunted when I was putting together this bike ride that was 10 miles, having the motivation of knowing I was going to do it with the support of this group and we're all going to do it together was a real motivator for me. I think it's really important for the healthcare community to come together because it's our frontline clinicians, the colleagues that I work with that are seeing firsthand the impact that this is having on people's health. What we'd like people to do is to um, declare a climate emergency. They can sign the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty. It's a really important treaty that is showing that fossil fuels are a threat and that we can reduce their use. We've got a real commitment as the Royal College to lead this work, uh, to share good practice, to highlight uh, the impact particularly of air pollution but much more generally around climate change on children's lives. On October the 18th, a group of health workers will be setting off from Geneva, and this time they'll be cycling over those mountains over there, uh, the Alps, and a couple of them will be making it fully 1,500 kilometers all the way down to Naples in southern Italy. Hello. Hi. I'm Ilaria. Hi, Ilaria. You're a pediatrician, right? Yes. Yeah? I'm, ex <laughs> I'm exciting. Yeah. This road with you. It's I a beautiful road. I'm fairly confident that the environment up here is changing. Um, and it's changing rapidly. It's changing too rapidly for lots of animals and plants that have evolved here. And it's doing that because we just cannot be asked to stop extracting fossil fuel from the ground. We would have really liked to take the blue bag all the way to COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh but it's not possible for us to do that on our bicycles. So uh, we'll be handing the bag over to uh, WHO to take out to uh, COP27 um, and to take the message not only of, of the, 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 the we're trying to, to um, amplify and promote, but all the other people who've been working within Ride for Their Lives all around the world. We're united in the message that time is running out for our planet and, and all the data and reports that have been published recently just kind of bring to the forefront how much we really have run out of time and we need to take action now.